From test tubes to beakers to flasks, one man creates all sorts of glassware. But these are not your father's scientific tools. As Naperville News 17's Kevin Maycheck explains, they're custom made, designed to withstand various experiments at Argonne National Laboratory. Joe Greger is anything but your average Joe. As a scientific glassblower for nearly 50 years, he's become a world-renowned craftsman, melting glass and molding it into instruments for scientists to use in their experiments. You can get it so hot it's like honey and will actually drip off onto the table. But because of this unique characteristic, you can melt it and shape it many different ways. Joe began his trade working for his father and grandfather for the family business Milwaukee Glassworks as young as 10 years old. I had responsibilities in our factory on Saturday mornings. I'd uh, sweep and clean and, and uh, unfold newspaper for packing material and I'd probably work till noon and then I was allowed to go up into the second floor where our lamp room was and I could play with melting glass and building things. From there, he went on to blow glass for a company called Pope Scientific Incorporated before coming to Argonne National Laboratory, where he's worked for more than 30 years, making glass items like custom beakers, test tubes, and flasks that aren't available anywhere else. The scientists will come in and tell me uh, what kind of experiment they want to do. Some know exactly what their glassware should look like, others don't have any idea. Some come with sketches, hand sketches, very seldom do I get blueprints. The largest piece of glassware he's made, 18 inches in diameter and 48 inches long. Another, an award-winning item aptly named the Gregor Extractor, which was one of the top 100 inventions of the year in 1999. As a past president and now active member of the American Scientific Glassblower Society, he takes a dozen beginners under his wing for a five-year apprenticeship, hoping they'll get fired up about this trade just as he does every day in his shop. There's not a morning I wake up I don't want to come to work. I have mixed emotions about future retirement plans. Uh, I know I'll miss it, but I, I believe I will probably start when that, when that day comes, I'll, I'll get a studio somewhere and I'll just tinker. <laughs> From Argonne National Laboratory, Kevin Maycheck, Naperville News Extra. This is just a taste of Joe's story. We'll give you a more in-depth look at the process of scientific glassblowing in our next episode of Naperville News Extra, debuting on Tuesday, July 15th.